Hello and welcome. No doubt you should always take your car to a reliable mechanic to check it out for you. But that still costs money, so you need to be absolutely convinced the car is worth it anyway. In here you'll find what I think is everything you need to build up a strong case file around any car which is tempting for you. When shopping for a car, you need to go through the exterior condition, whether it's body, paint or tire wear. Then check the engine condition. Might seem hard, but there is multiple easy clues, whether it's weird noises, smells or smoke. Then there is the interior condition. Probably the easiest one there because it's bad if it's usually mostly worn and dirty but there's also some clues that can indicate crash and repair cases we'll talk about those later then take it for a test drive it's the only mean of communication for the car to express herself finally check the mileage it's the moment you're most familiar with the car so let's start with the exterior condition you're looking for inconsistency in the paint job, panels that seem to be lighter or stronger in color than the rest of the car. Usually you need the sun to be shining bright in order to kind of see how the light plays on the paint. Now let's get our attention over the body condition. As always, this should be the most obvious part. When you're walking around the car, look for any dings, broken parts, scratches, rust, inconsistent alignments in between the hood, panels, bumpers and doors. There is a lot of chip marks on the hood. The Audi badge has been uh, plastic dipped and starting to rip off. Now, because of all the water, notice something over here. You see there is water that it's starting to get a rusted color, which indicates rust, obviously. Over here. You can clearly see that and now that we are here we can also see that somebody did some painting white painting and didn't cover this rubber very well now somehow there is water inside of here a lot of water the wheels and tires. First of all, look and see if all four tires are the same make and model. Then take a penny and insert it in between the tire tread. It will give you a rough estimation. And finally, check the rims for scratches, butthole damage, and faded paint. Now, the headlamps and tail lights. Check and see if the headlamps are becoming blurred and yellow. This is common with non UV treated transparent plastic. With time and sunshine, they slowly degrade. This means either the car was sitting too long facing the sun or the car has spent most of its life on the road. This is why sometimes yellow blurred headlamps can give you a rough estimation on the actual mileage. The headlights really seem uh, a bit rough. They are definitely blurry. Maybe not yellow, but definitely blurry. Windows and sunroof. You want to verify that all the windows and the rooftop are closed tight and properly. The sunroof can unalign after a crash, so inspect it as well. Moving on to the engine condition. Start it up and listen. Ideally, a cold start is the best way for checking an engine. If it's too rough, you know it's usually packing a big load of mileage. 
and try and listen for any weird ticking sounds, odd rattle or knocking noise. In this case, all good. Don't forget to check for oil leak under the engine bay and rear differential. Then ask someone to rev up the engine a little bit so you can check the colored gas coming out of the exhaust. Is there any oil as well? There is three main colors that could indicate engine failure. Dark black, blue or white gray. The usual color should not be noticeable in summer and very light gray in winter. After letting the engine heat up to normal operating temperature, it's the perfect time to inspect the engine bay. So shut the car off and check and see if there is any weird smells, whether it's coolant fluid or burnt smell. Look for any steam or smoke all around the engine bay. Now somebody has been using duct tape to fix stuff inside over here. as well as over here they even tried to paint the duct tape black so it doesn't seem like there's duct tape the battery cover is missing there should be a plastic cover over here. Smells good and it seems like it's clean. Let's move on to the third part from the investigation. Interior condition. Look for any interior wear mark. This kind of cars, the mileage plays a big part in their values. So what we need to do is find clues all around that can justify the mileage. Look for any unusual wear and tear on the steering wheel, seats, switches. Any unusual condition could be caused by excessive use, which should indicate a relatively high mileage. We talked earlier about clues indicating a crash and repair case. It's mainly the seat belts mixed with black mechanic kind of dirt. When a car gets into the hands of a cheap money-making mechanic, you'll most probably find black mechanic dirt all around the interior. Granted, it doesn't mean the car was crashed. The car might simply be in for cheap maintenance. A crash and repair case is most usually given away by the seat belts. See, seat belts are made in a specific way so they lock when the car gets into a crash and they have to be replaced. They are kind of expensive to buy directly from the dealer because they usually come as a full kit because of safety measures, which makes it the perfect black market item, usually stolen parts. This is where it gets interesting. Parts on the black market aren't handled with all due care and attention. Once they have been removed from stolen cars, they are basically thrown away waiting for customers. Meanwhile, those parts accumulate dirt, rust, and all kind of nasty stuff. The weird part is that nobody bothered cleaning them up. That's the best explanation I was able to come up with after witnessing numerous recent cars with seat belts in terrible states. In this case though, the seat belts are crystal clean. All good. Check if all the windows are working. Open them up and close them down. Don't forget to check if the windshield wipers show any malfunction.
this wiper should not be hitting the frame so there's definitely something odd with the wipers now it's time for a test drive i would suggest to drive it in city roads until it heats up then take it on the highway make sure the radio is turned off and ask the salesman to remain quiet so you can focus on the car after going through that smart chart thoroughly you really should begin to have an idea on the actual mileage of the car so check it out at the very end of your investigation if the shown number makes you uncomfortable walk away or try and get the best deal as fairly as possible don't forget to check and see if there is any cluster light indicating needed maintenance i'll thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed whether you're looking to buy or to be entertained by nice car footage i suggest you subscribe and scroll to the channel there are many things which discusses many cars thank you take care and goodbye